Hey folks, this is Ethan from the Sawtooth Avalanche Center. I'm here with Mitch in the uh, Soldier Mountains. We're at 9,200 feet on roughly a southeast facing slope. We're taking a look at what appears to be a couple different avalanches that failed during our most recent storm, Monday night into Tuesday. Uh, we got over a foot of snow up here, along with some southwest initially and then northwest wind. And it looks like the first avalanche released kind of off to my right over here went down and then as the wind switched from the northwest it built this really pretty thick wind slab that you can kind of see me behind me here at the crown that's also already partially filled in from that northwest wind and then that avalanche kind of came down and covered up that other debris. Some things that are notable here there's been a, a lot of wind loading the slab is really thick we haven't really been noticing any obvious signs of instability as we've been hiking up uh, no real collapses of note but when we dug a pit back there, what we found was essentially just uh, roughly a two foot thick slab sitting over our weak snow in December, which is undoubtedly uh, what this avalanche failed on and what we need to continue to keep in the front of our minds as some of the obvious signs of instability lessen, but obviously the consequences of these large avalanches would be uh, super tragic.